Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Deegre and today we continue into level 2 Megabase where we in the last episode just got all of our steel smelting up and running. Um, in between episodes you guys told me that some of the names were incorrect on uh, our steel setup so I just spent a bit of time changing it around making it all work so now the base is running pretty smooth in terms of trains and such. Very nice amount of trains going all over the place. So in today's episode we'll work out one of the last bottlenecks we have in terms of production for 2k science minute and that is our processing units. If you look in produ the production tab right now we are producing about 1.5k per minute. We will need to go to about 2.2 so I kind of want to double our current setup of processing units. So um, hopefully you'll think that's a good idea and leave a like on the video. And of course, as always, remember to subscribe to the channel and join us on Twitch. We're still streaming, it's fun, so hope to see you there. So uh, let's take a little trip through our base. Uh, right now we have this rather beautiful setup here for um, processing units. And uh, what I want to do is that, uh, in theory, I could just take this one and stamp it down somewhere else. But what I want to do is uh, move this one up, do a second one below, and then pull in two more green lines over here. Because we are getting enough red in. We are getting enough sulfuric acid in. So, um, in theory, just doing it both in this one should be possible. I'll give us a nice cells can produce probably 3k uh, processing units per second, or per minute, sorry. So um, so that is kind of the goal. It shouldn't be too bad to do it. Because, yeah, we'll just move these two up. So, uh, so let's, let's have a look at that. Firstly, let's just get you disconnected. So we can start to empty out the belts for green circuits and such. And then we'll shift all of this up to here to make it look a bit better. Uh, Input-wise, we'll just add in two more um, green circuits, as that is the main thing in terms of consumption. Let's just steal this part. Oh well, let's do this instead. Let's add in unloading of items. One here, and we'll do one more down here. There we are. And you two will be delivering green circuits. I think that will be just fine like that and like that. And then we need to shift all of this up. First, let's just get a robot to clear this out for, for us. And just this part, I will leave what's it called all the inputs. Here, please get all these belts. Over here as well. And then we'll just kind of shift the rest up. Because we know how much room it's going to take. So it shouldn't be too bad to do. And you down here. Those brick acid lines, they'll go a second one down below here. And we have a second red one go down the side here to the rest of this setup. So let's move it. <coughs> we'll take this part. Please come with me. And you'll stay here, I think it was before that. And you'll go to about here instead. One, two, three, four can fit in. We know that fits. What if we do you here? Because then we can have four lines. We can in theory take this part. Stamp it down right here. Yes. Then we'll take you and flip you. Let's see, just about here. Take you, flip you. Right here. <coughs> and get all the belts hooked up. Just like that. So that's this entire thing hooked up again ready to go after this has been moved and then we just need to copy this down below we also need a second red circuit line let's just grab you there we are you'll go here and you can go that way 
you'll go this way. Go in. You can go over here and down the side. Uh, probably just right here will be good. That should be fine. With outputs in the middle. In theory, we can shift this one over here for easy loading. That might be quite cool, to be honest. We'll just empty this out going over here. So yeah, let's get let's get the loading on the side. I actually think that'll look better. So let's do you right here instead. Well, it's it's almost the same. We'll, we'll keep it. It's not it's not that big that big of a deal. So robots, please remove this for us, and then we can hook up this one more time. And luckily, pretty much copying this and setting it up is very, very simple. Let's just wait for the rest to be gone. Might want to change the output a bit here. Because as we saw, it takes about 24 blue circuits per second being output. So we do need both sides. But I do want to make it look a bit prettier. So I'll probably change this a bit. I do have something that's a bit prettier and a bit easier to use. Let's just do this for now, to save a bit on the blue. And you can go... Here, here, three, four. And then the last four can kind of go on the opposite side. So you'll still go in, like before. But, before you get to the last four, I just want you to kind of shift like that. Or in theory, to make it look a bit prettier, we can do one of these to do that. But that means we have these four going on the outside, we have these four going on the inside. That'll be, um, be quite good. Then we'll have a second one, pretty much this one flipped. Let's steal all of you, please. Right there. Just a normal steal. Then we'll flip you, just press, press G, that's going to be good. And uh, then we'll do the builds the same, but um, couldn't really move it down a bit, just to make it look like that. Ooh, that looks, that looks pretty good. Yeah, let, let's do that instead. Right here. Yes. So here goes the red circuit line. You can go down and in. Right there. We will then have all the green circuit ones going over here. And am I able to just take... What if I take this? And say flip. Does that line up where it needs to? One, two, three... It seems it does. Do you. And cut off that part right there. And then we'll just hook up all the green circuits as well. You'll go here. Green circuits. Green circuits. We need to do a double jump unless we move it down, but... Let's keep it there. I think it looks cool. You'll jump... Something like that. Eight, there goes all the green circuits. Then we have the two outputs from the top that you want to get down here. Very simple balancer. Should be fine this way. Two goes to four. Let's change it into something we actually know and love. Oh, it's not needed, is it? One, two into four. That should split completely correctly to all of these, so we should be fine. Oh, maybe not. Look at that. The split has been a bit changed. So let's let's do a normal balancer, as we know that works. Um, 
You can go right. You. Good. Disconnect you for a second. Let's jump. You. And. You two will go out with full belts. Giving one space in between just to make it look. Well, let's, let's get them all. Let's get them just next to each other. Let's give one space. Okay, now look cool. You can go right over here. There we are. So now all of this is hooked up. Just need to ho hook up the spheric assets. The same up here. So you can kind of continue down this way. Or be connected up here in the middle. Now we have them at the top, so that's fine. You'll take the top one instead. You can go to there. Let's just give this a try. Here, here, and here. That starts the top one. You can go down this way. And this will start the bottom one. And that should, in theory... Oh, we need to hook this one up over here as well. Give us a 30k... Science can... Let's do a test. Can I take this? And just flip you. Will that work? And almost. And right here. You can just take you away and take you away. And take you away. That means green circles are going out, so they're going down and in. Gonna activate the last half of this. And look at that nice amount of blue circuits flowing. That is that is that is looking I like this huh? That looks pretty cool. If we wanted to make it completely symmetrical, we should in theory have moved this down a small amount so we had it in the middle. But uh, I'll let you decide if we can do that in the future. It's quite easy to do, just moving it down. But um, in terms of throughput, it changes absolutely nothing in terms of uh, materials used. So as the spells and such, it shouldn't change anything either. Because when we go down here, we have to go one further down at the top. Oh, here we go. Last two. Boom. So let's see if we hit the about 3k blue circuits. We should be about 2.2 at the moment. Oh, look at that. The math is checking out. 2.2. And here we go. The last one up to 3k. We are currently consuming... Oh, that. Currently consuming quite a lot of... of <laughs> We're currently consuming 704 green circuits per second, producing 50 of these per second, giving us 2,960, and consuming 42,000 electronic circuits per minute. That is an insane number. But uh, yeah, we'll just have trains delivering it in for days. They should pretty much run full speed. But look at that. Processing units, 3k. There we go, almost at max. And then we'll hit our 3k, or just below 3k. So, um, so that is a pretty decent setup. Our science is going. This was one of the last things we needed to automate or upgrade. As that was the main bottleneck for our rocket control units, as you can see here, which is the main reason why our rocket is not launching fast enough. So um, if you look at the base, I also expanded out a bit in between episodes, setting up some depots and such. And uh, things are moving. I also added in quite a few more trains just to have the throughput up and running, but it's something we'll have to Keep an eye on in the coming episodes if enough is flowing through. Now that space science, white science is the main bottleneck. Yes, left. 
So um, I think this will be a decent place to end the episode. It's a bit of a shorter episode, but uh, hopefully you like the design we have right here. We we'll want to change one thing though. I want you to up royalty that way. Because that way we'll have them half on each side and I think that'll look cooler. Got that. Much better. Let's do this one quick as well. You'll go that way. So, hopefully you like this design. Hopefully you'll leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want the blueprints, do jump on Discord. There you can also find uh, all the other blueprints. The train grid blueprints as well. And if you want to jump on Twitch and watch me there, you can also get the login information for uh, the server there. Or Space Exploration and Crestorio 2. So, um, thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, I've been Degrain, and I will see you in the next stream or on Twitch. Bye, guys.